a state of emergency in Wisconsin following the police shooting of Jacob Blake. Demonstrations going strong for another day in Kenosha with protesters demanding answers from the police department and vandals torching cars and buildings. All of this anger sparked by the shooting of 29 year old Jacob Blake. Video obtained by 27 News shows the moments right before he was shot. Police say officers were responding to a domestic disturbance. The video shows officers point their guns at Blake as he walks away from them. When Blake opens a car door and gets in, an officer grabs Blake's shirt and shoots him several times in the back. In Madison City, officials say more than 500 people gathered to protest the shooting overnight. Things began peacefully before some people broke off from the group. Vandals set dumpsters on fire and damaged more than 40 businesses. Our city supports First Amendment rights and peaceful protests. But we draw the line on arson, theft, and criminal damage to property that puts people's lives in danger. Officers used what they call chemical agents after some people started throwing rocks and bottles at them. Three officers were hurt, six people were arrested. We have team coverage on the aftermath of this violence. AJ Byatpour is live, where protesters are gathering to march for justice for Jacob Blake. Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Fannin has you covered on the damage at the state capitol. But let's begin with Tony Galley. He's in Madison with how businesses are cleaning up the damage. Tony. George, here on the Capitol Square, it's been a day of work crews putting up plywood over most windows, and that continues to happen as I speak. Uh, as this is happening, uh, there's also the evidence of uh, damage that can't be uh, repaired as easily as just putting up a, a plywood window. And that damage from early morning vandalism is having the business community here bracing again. At the East Washington Avenue headquarters of Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce, there's graffiti expressing disgust at the business group. There's broken windows, evidence of Molotov cocktails with burn residue. On the square, no explanation for damage to restaurants in an already struggling hospitality industry. Windows aside, like I, th I think it's more the uh, lost income from not being able to open and, you know, that sort of stuff like th that that's going to be more of an impact because every dollar you know because of the pandemic and all that stuff like every dollar we get is 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 super important chef tori miller at gray's restaurant hopes to hopes to open again this weekend this renewed round of vandalism in madison's downtown is again making it hard for businesses to focus on trying to stay solvent they know the strategies such as curbside sales online sales but right now it's primarily survival reporting live on the capitol square tony galley 27 news